Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Nimpulse Plays where we're once again back with some Walking Dead Telltale and we're not alone this time because I'm brought I'm with I'm I have brought that's what I meant I have brought a new friend it's me but in a brand new outfit just for Walking Dead thank you again to Sacramonia for putting that together all right we're doing episode two starved for help I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it's a metaphorical starving, you know? Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I Fucking got another try. good one for you. Man, the, the cutaways. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. Yeah, it's Doug. Done. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Don't worry, Doug didn't get bit. Everything's fine. Bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Uh -oh. Goodbye, Carly. Holy... And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Okay, Larry. Will do. Well, you do have another heart attack on me. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story. Okay. Every time I try to read something. Telltale Games presents. Trees, in association with Skybound Entertainment. Bushes. Me. Uh. I bet I've been a zombie, because I just committed one way or the other. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well... That's another meal lost. Well, we could always eat the zombie. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, a rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. Oh, hi, Mark. I'm hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's Poor not the Doug. only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Three candy bars. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny, Mr. Kenny with like the time, six turkeys in each hand. Back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh, what, what, uh, he's got a wife and son to look out for, and they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him though. Did I mean, I've watched the show Walking Dead. Big groups don't solve anything. The guy's deal, anyway. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, I, yeah. Larry's not a great guy. Let's be honest. Uh, Larry's just uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Mark's just like, wow, why do you hang out with these people? They're all assholes. I 
I, I, I'm pretty sure that bullet's going to annihilate that bird. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Well, and yet you shot anyway. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Also, where'd you get a gun from? I assume we just met Mark over time. These damn kids. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get you it get off. a gun. Get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's right. okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. <laughs> We're not a threat to you. Don't Can't listen to them. Out. They're not gonna hurt we'll try us. To help you, but you gotta shut the Why would fuck you give up? that advice? Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh, yeah, sure. Gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Well, there's one quick way of getting this off, and then there's the <laughs> more painful way. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Well, here they come. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Uh, uh, uh... There has to be a way out of this! Can I use this. the thing? Uh, no, no, no! Lee, do something! Fuck. There's gotta be something okay, well, we can do! Get... What about this? Oh, God! Uh, I can't stop! stop. Try to cut the chain! Try to cut the chain? Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Jesus! Those things are gonna be here soon! Let's go! Let's go! Oh god, oh hurry! God. Uh, I don't think the chain is uh, gonna break with just an axe. Pretty heavy uh, duty. You have to get him out. Forget you have you to. Use chain like that at the air force base to lift order. Come on, we're not cutting through. Do you think something. you can get it open? Lee, it well, has to be now. there is one other alternative way. Please, we can't oh, just no. leave him like this. Get him out of this. Okay, there's gotta be another Damn way. Damn it, just cut off what his fucking this? leg. What is this? We don't have time for that. Big rock. I'm sorry, but we uh, have to go now. Yeah, this I have a feeling that's not going to work either. Okay, well, oh, literally, I've exhausted leg. all the other options. Goodbye, leg. Oh, Lee, I can't keep him back forever. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, second swing will be clean, I promise. <laughs> Sorry, I missed. All right, third swing. Third swing's the time. You moved your leg that time. It didn't help. You gotta keep still, man. Also, the screaming, it's, uh, it's actually quite distracting. But on the plus side, you're free now. Hmm, we are gonna have to carry him now. Is he... He passed out. The story of the game's like, you cut David free, question mark. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Ah! Travis, if you break into a slight joke, you'll be fine. Remember what your dad did in Special Forces? Okay, well this no! isn't it. But okay. More like the falling dead. The trips over their own feet dead. Ah, the Travelier Motel. What is this, like a fallout camp?
Whoa, here we come. We're coming from the woods and we've got a guy with half a leg. You should probably fire a warning shot anyway. Clem. Clem. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, Larry, open the gates. Come on! Come on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll I'm okay, Clem. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm it later. down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us. How do you know he's not lying? Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together yeah. to survive. Oh, now the one might know where food is. is. Because you had food, enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Actually, I am. Uh, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Welcome come to the family, son. See what I drew. Wait, what? No, I. Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think. Come on, Ben. Look at the look at the little group, picture. But we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, yeah, the next does five matter. minutes. One person can't be in charge of everything. I agree. We should you know, all be it in might charge. Feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Hi, Doug. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. I'll do it. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Pick Good your luck. favorites. Now, I have, of course, played this game before. So, I have four food items for ten people. Now, normally people would go, Clementine, Duck, maybe Katya and Ben. But, I think I, I think, you know, trying something new is always going to be fun, you know? We got Doug. We got Will Mark. you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. You know what, Larry? You're not you when you're hungry. Here's a Snickers. Here, Larry. Uh, you can have an apple. I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> uh, Mark, I don't really oh, know man. you, so... Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Uh, Need any help with the wall? Yeah. Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh, sure. Here you go, Larry. Hey, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come Me and Larry on, are Larry. best friends. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. 
And that's why you got half an apple. See, we're best friends. Three pieces of food left. A ball. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Okay, who next are we gonna give stuff How to? How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? I will I will most definitely sure. help you find when it. Did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Duck, duck, goose. What up, Ben? Want something to eat? Welcome to the welcome to the club. You can have if some crackers and cheese. Rated, it probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I giving food to really Ben may hungry. prove an unpopular Thanks. choice. Are you out of your mind? We needed that food for us, for our kids. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Yeah. Enjoy it. You're fine, Ben. I'm handing out the food now. I'm the one that everyone can be angry at. Shake your head to be Keddy. Alright. Who else can I give the food to? You alright, Kenny? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, yeah but fair he enough. was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Uh, I mean... The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Yeah. Get on a boat, go out to sea. Honestly, makes a lot of sense. I wonder if I can find any other spare food. Okay, so I've given it to what? Two people? So far? There's Doug. There's Katya. Katya, you seen Clem's hat? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Uh... No. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Well, no, he's got the other one. I'm just gonna stay silent. I'm gonna well, let you focus. You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Cool. Uh, is there anything I can do with this? Look at bookcase. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever. Just like the rest of this place. Wow, the voice actor got real close on the mic for that one. Now, you know what, Doug? Here you go, buddy. Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? Don't suppose I could interest you in some food. You can have... a piece of jerky. Actually, why don't you keep my share today? I know really? I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Curly, but... I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Oh. Hey, if Doug doesn't want any food, I'll take it. It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. Right. I'm sorry. The hunger's just getting to me. I'll let you do your job. You've asked about food too much, Mark. I think you've got a game. You know what? I'm going to give your food to Katya then. Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Why is everyone so mean me. to me? I'm just trying to help. I'm just, I'm just trying to help, you know? Why is everyone so mean to me? Well, I guess I'll give it to these two then. It's one way to get in Kenny's good hey, books. Doc, how about a little food? You want some jerky? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! And then the last food for Clementine. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'm the main character. 
Okay, all the kids are fed at the very least. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. I did try I to give it to other people. Be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Damn kid wants a Sunday. We're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Best you're gonna get is a Saturday. Oh, I probably could have given something to Lily, but I, I... Not such an easy job, is it? I thought she would, you know, out of range. Okay, so Mark doesn't like me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before... Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Well, just Mark, but... You know, he seems cool. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. Ken Lee... He didn't he make it, did he? Without you. He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Uh... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? We will eat him tonight. Oh! Ah! Uh, uh... Um... Um... What, what is... What is happening? Did I win? Oh. Oh, I didn't win. That let's, man you brought. Let's try this again, I shall tried. we? But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Eh, who knows? Okay. I'm gonna need to actually try to survive now. The axe! Hurry! The axe! Oh, uh whoa. -oh. Down you go. Down you go. Get out of the damn way! Damn it! I have it! Listen, buddy, I'm gonna need you to have it quicker. Fuck! I got him! Hell yeah, Doug. Listen, if any of you could actually kill him, that way I would very much appreciate it. Ow. God, I'm having to- I'm having to- the mountain, this guy. I'm working on it. Oh my god, my hands. You know, we really should tie him up if we're gonna heal him next time. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Larry, do you not remember when I gave you food? Ow. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? You'd have to be bitten to turn. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Wow. That sucks. I'm sad now. I'm when sadly. I happened, we were all I have a sad out face. In the gym and everybody thought we were finally Not safe. set up. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... There's some weird zombies coming up. It works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Uh... Are 
Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Food does sound good. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Mm. Mm. I feel like if we click X, it's just going to be like, no, you're going to have to go because we need food. And everyone's going to think you're an idiot. I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we yeah. vote. If everyone agrees, then yeah, we'll the, send you guys with some gas. The good vibe didn't work that. out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon where we have access to the pharmacy. For dad. Kenny? Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Doug? I say we do it. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Oh, what a group dictatorship we could go in here. What do you think, Clem? What do you think? Lee, I'm very hungry. What about those crackers I gave you earlier? Looks like we're going to a dairy. They're supposed to last you three weeks. Okay, yeah, so it was what so I thought. You dairy, have to go anyway, you guys really but have food? everybody thinks you're sure an idiot do. now. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Yeah, but well, I feel like six of them, they fold over the fence, the others just climb over the top of it. Offered me earlier. <laughs> that is one runaway train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever they could get their hands on. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh... Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? Uh, it's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh, anyway. Well, the kid here's our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy. Yeah, for goat farm as long helped. As I can great. Remember, but, uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? 
Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it all for yourself! What we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck or... you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, shit! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Maybe we should loot that guy for stuff. No? Okay. So the looting idea was very much kind of shot down. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence Don't touch the out. fence. You bet Don't you. do it, they Doug. They like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Uh... Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh... Yes. Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she well, was I mean, asking about survival tactics. Yeah, Lily's yeah, our survival expert. Matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh, anyway, we brought gasoline. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy oh. moly! What are they? Doug? Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? What about the motel that we spent all this time preparing? And prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Yeah, take Ben this. seems like the good type. All right. See you later. Later, Doug. Don't touch the wires. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This right. place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right... Mark, Mark, Mark is so happy to have seen a, a fence. So how do you want to play this? Uh, Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe... Or the fence that's electrically charged to cook people. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay.
All right, well, we're going to check that fence and see what the St. John's Farm has in store for us in the next one. Bye for now.